I was expecting to make another fight for our video anytime soon. Um, but we have another update. Well, it's telling you not a new update, but it's new content. DLC Pack 2 for the Season Pass is out the Limitless Bunny Pack. When you open the game, you'll see this notification. If you have the DLC, of course. And with it, these two, Keith Lee and the Bunny um, Alley. So, pretty cool. Um, I apologize for my last video, because um, same as Sam B came out last week. Um, and that update, I mean, I got a few things wrong. Um, I... There, there were a lot of attires I missed. Um, there was, um, I mean, even the the the, the, the video title is actually wrong because the version was one point oh three, version one point oh four, which is the update the Switch version already got. It actually got two updates at once, which I wasn't aware of, um, which is why I said one point oh four. The review was of that update. Um, well, 1.04, the update actually is, is to make this DLC compatible. But for some reason, the Switch got it early. We didn't get the DLC early, but we got the compatibility update early. Don't know why. And because of that, I, I feel it's safe to assume that we only got the new DLC stuff with this update. Um, and not anything else. But there's a decent amount to cover here. You know, uh, they, they both of them have... Their own entrance motion, their own entrance video, and their own entrance music. Um, the bunny, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to show it. The face model is really bad. Um, I, I, I'll give my thoughts at the end, really. But, uh, yeah, we, we do have um, a lot of moves, though. A lot of new moves. Here we go. I'll just move. Um, so just go to, like, Saints or Finisher, because Saints or Finisher... You can equip any move. That's how you'll be able to find a list of moves. Um, and to know which ones are actually new to the update, look for the common rarity ones because... And they still have this glitch here. I've not patched this out for God knows why. But um, any, like, DLC stuff or just unlockables you get will always be listed as new whenever you reload the game. Um, and... The old DLC stuff was an epic rarity, so just look at what's common rarity to determine what's new. There's a ton of stuff here, there's actually quite a lot. And then some really good stuff, like the overhead German suit, I was a surprise that it wasn't in the game already. But yeah, just a lot of stuff, like the pounce there, you've got everything you'd want from Keith Lee. So yeah, pretty cool. It must be said. Uh, yeah, there's, there, I was surprised by how many new moves there were. And of course, you're using creator moves, so you can assign them to anyone you want. So, pretty good. Pretty good overall. Um, yeah, just want to show. Uh, a supernova. Pretty cool. Good stuff. But that's not... Oh, oh this uh, DLC pack came with two more mini games. Um... For possibly the last two mini games we get in this game, uh, MJS Car Crash and Sloth Sling. Um, I'll just show you some basic stuff with it. You know, as you can instruct from his car crash, flash the car while MGF delivers his promo. The game ends when MGF's car is destroyed or when MGF completes his promo. The player with the most points wins. And you get some controls here. And I'll just show a quick video of what it's like. So this one cause promo. He there is actual audio for it, and then he'll just turn around. And if you're caught attacking his car, you lose points basically. Simple as that. Very cool. Uh, this is quite fun actually. That's last thing here is kind of like Angry Birds. Um, find your rest into the objects, destroying objects earns points. The player who earns the most points wins. And you get some controls again. I'll show you simple stuff. I'll show a video. So look, you just. <laughs> shoot your ass off the ring process and then do damage. You can do a lot more than this. You can blow shit up. It's crazy. So as far as we know, that's all that's been added, which is actually a good amount. And considering it's following a big update last week, I'm pretty happy with it. It doesn't really just follow delay, though. Um, firstly, my thoughts on the minigames here. The minigames are pretty good. I know many don't care about the minigames. I don't really care either. I enjoy them, but that's, it's, it's not why I play the game. But I will give them credit, the DLC minigames are definitely the best minigames in the game. They, they are very well put together minigames. All four of them here, of course, if you get the FDR pack, you get 
the Join Us in Death Race mini games. Those two are pretty good as well. Um, so yeah, they're, they're good mini games, but again, they're just mini games at that. Nothing too replayable, nothing too crazy. Some of it effective. I have no real complaints about them other than I don't really care for them personally. Um, as for the rest, as again, this is a Switch version I play on, so looks a bit better on other consoles. Not substantially, the Switch version's quite well optimized. It's pretty much the same graphics. Um, but yeah, the models, the models for the, the model for the bunny, not great. Keith Lee's model is fantastic. Keith, Keith Lee is a perfect DLC car, I think. He he was done really well here. You you saw the moves. He has so many moves for him. Um to just so much and all of the stuff that people would like to throw in the rest is like the overhead German suplex. Um just some really cool stuff. Um I know he's pretty he's a pretty strong character as well. Um, I know this is going to be a lot of the, the, the main reason people want the DLC for Keith Lee. The Bunny, you know, I, I look forward to mainly just because um, the women's roster is not too great. And by that, I mean, this is she is the 14th member of the women's roster in this game. Um, and one of those 14 is Aubrey Edwards, who is a referee, not a wrestler. So although she's playable, doesn't really count. Um, so it's good to have a woman on the roster. Um, and I, I, I think her attire in this is cool. Um, the the move sense cool. She's got a lot of her own stuff as well, as you saw in Noises. And I even like the entrance move. She has a little bunny mask. It's pretty cool. The face model is pretty damn bad, though. Um, one of the worst models in the game, honestly, in terms of the face. Um... But there's a lot of wrestlers in this game who have like pretty shit face models when you walk up close and you look at the pre-match renders for them. And then when you get in the actual game, it's not too bad. I think but the bunny's the kind of a case that because you're looking at them from further away. The face model is noticeably bad regardless, but the rest of it's fine. And again, you're far away. It's not it's not terrible. Um but it goes to show because we had this stuff elite because with set update I mentioned earlier, we had this stuff added to the files, and when we saw the bunny model, we all just assumed, oh, it's an unfinished version. But no, it's the complete one, um, which is kind of yikes. I don't, personally, I don't really care for it, but it waited a long time for this DLC, and that face model is yikes. That is really, really not great. She is unrecognizable. Um... To, and to, speaking of which, the, the, the date was, it's very cool that we're continuing for the momentum of the same Stampede by, by just throwing this in a week later. I think that's great. The game feels very alive again, and that's cool. I assume we're getting another lull for at least a month now. Um, I want to talk about the date stuff because we have the Hookhausen DLC pack still, which won't have any mini games, we'll just have Hook and Danhausen. Um, and. I'm looking forward to that. The expected date, and do not take this as confirmed, but the eShop list for the 17th of October. I'm only bringing up the eShop again because it had this... This pack list is for the 31st, and it was correct. Um, I know they, they had very specific dates before as well. They had very specific dates. Um, the Hook House pack was actually in August, and the pack we have now <laughs> was in on the 25th of July. Um, so over a, well over a month delay, um, a two month delay for a uh, Um and I, I was the one who brought this up in the Discord, and I, I guess said she saw this fucking chaos of oh their placeholder dates. And that's what Zaidi, who's like I, I I don't know, he he's a guy at THQ who unfortunately has the job of communicating with. The fans of this game. Um, and he basically explained, because of what I've shown, that, um, yeah, they were just placeholder dates. Took him a while to point that out, because everyone was just saying it's a confirmed date. And only when it's done, when it's changed, do you bring that up. So I never bought it, and I feel like this is... I, I never bought the excuse. I mean, I bought the DRC, which isn't worth it. We'll get to that. Um... But yeah, I, I I never bought this excuse because 
the eShop never does specific dates, it's just placeholders. Nintendo, the people in charge of the eShop and the date stuff, if, if there's no scheduled date, it will just they will just automatically assign it to the last date of the year, the 31st of December on whatever year. Right? I've never known another game that just where Nintendo just threw a random date on there because we had no confirmed one. That does not happen. So I thought that was bullshit. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's confirmation because the, de- the delayed date was correct. So there's clearly something there. I believe they just delayed it and they didn't want to say, oh, we delayed it because people were already very pissed off at them at the time. And they probably still are, but um, hard could well has been brought back because we've actually got some fucking updates. Um, and I, again, this was not a long time to wait for like a big Battle Royale mode update and now I got the DRC and that's so cool. And we even got Alter Ties, which surprised me. And there was like 40 bugs patch. There's still some very clearly clear stuff that should have been patched already but i appreciate all the patches and the ai seems a bit better from the update but like stuff like the, the attires just resetting and stuff it makes no sense because they've both had a shit ton of new attires but the attire system's broken weird by the way these two guys do not have any new attires i don't think ftr have their attires yet although i haven't checked so maybe probably not um but yeah, it, 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 it's, things are getting better this game. Absolutely. And we can actually look forward to more stuff coming. Of course, we do know there's some of a DRC pack. And there might be more. I don't know. The, the season pass system implies there's more than one. But I don't know what's going on anymore. I, I think plans must have changed because clearly the dates change. Um, I believe there was, just, there was simply a delay for whatever reason. Probably because they wanted to prioritize Stadium Stampede, if I were to guess. They wanted to prioritize that because they want to tie in with all, all in. Um, but they do just, they're, they're pretty bad at marketing this because they just kind of shadow drop it. Like, they'll just announce and say, oh, it's coming within the next 24 hours. Um, and it is for this one. But then there was no official announcement until the trailer dropped when they were out. The trailer dropped when they just came out. Um, they, their Twitch stream is what confirmed it was coming out. But no one fucking watches that. No one looks at that. So, <laughs> again, just weird communication and kind of bullshit um, excuses. That stuff's annoying. I, I Better late than never, but there, there's not much transparency going on. And that's a big problem. Um, so hopefully there's nothing to be transparent about. <laughs> the, the, still, like... We gain content clearly. Um, they've shown they will do big patch updates. They've shown they do big content updates. They've shown they will release the planned DLC. So I think we can rest assured. Um, and we just need to give them more time. It's as simple as that. And I'd be fine with that if they just had better communication with the players. I, I think it's as simple as that. But yeah, the fact that it was delayed and they just gave us this shit character model, kind of annoying. Although... There's a lot of new moves, so I'm quite happy because a, a big thing and a big complaint of sins it's £25 for six pretty shit character models, essentially, but there's new moves and stuff, so it, it, it's more than that, and I'm glad that's the case. In terms of is it worth it? No. I do not think it's worth it unless you this is your main wrestling game, or one of your main wrestling games, and you you sing a ton of hours to it, and you do your own universe mode thing in exhibition, despite the limited match types and stuff. You still do all that. Um, and if that's the case, then yeah, you're going to get your your money's worth in playing as these characters. Um, for sure, but at face value, this is, this is not the price... The combined season pass is not worth the price. It's a, like a five quid discount. It's not worth it. The pack separate, not really worth it. The Hookhausen one might be, and I say that because that one's actually cheaper separate because it does not include the mini games. Because for some reason they're charging us for the mini games on top, and I don't think anyone actually cares. If there, if you had an option to get a discounted price on the season pass that didn't have the four mini games, most people would get that one. So, yeah, it's kind of weird how they locked that stuff behind DLC. Again, even though I think the DLC minigame is actually very good. Um, so overall, I'm glad we got it. Um, 
But yeah, the season pass is still not great. And honestly, I hope they don't do another. I know people want more content, but like, I feel you sh- that they shouldn't just bring out, oh, here's another £25 season pass. They shouldn't do that like twice a year. That would be ludicrous. And because it was delayed, I, I think it's taking the time of it. We know this stuff, like, we had the idea claim had their, like, faces scanned and whatnot. So you could assume they are getting at it, but that's not confirmed. We just have confirmation that they're scanned for the game. So the plan clearly is to put them in the game at some point. Likely a season pass, too. I, I, I'd i expect a season pass, too. I wouldn't expect free wrestler updates. Um, which is a shame, because, again, the pricing of these... Is not great, but the, the I, I honestly don't mind spacing it out more. I just wish that was clear from the start, and they didn't just lie about the. You know, they didn't even lie about the date. They just then lied saying it was a placeholder date, and clearly it was not because it, these new dates are correct. So, yeah, expect two thousand and seventeenth, but again, they can delay that or maybe even push it forward if we're lucky. Um, and yeah, just expect more patches and. Hopefully we get like stuff like new match types. Although again, that's just not confirmed. We just know there's one more DLC pack. That's kind of the only thing we're guaranteed. And we don't have a guaranteed date for that. Um, so yeah, I think I talk about this stuff at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty good. Um, pretty good stuff. I've got to finally have it. Was it worth the wait? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like stuff you like, like, like. This feels like something you could do once every month. Like, I'm no game developer, but come on. <laughs> I know it's not like a crazy big team. I don't know how big it is, but it, it is two wrestlers and like how many animations. Like, I feel like they didn't really need extend time, other than the fact the same stampede thing was going on. And again, it feels like the priorities are going to stuff that most players aren't even here for, like the mini games, same stampede. We're here for a wrestling game. And while this stuff is actually genuinely fun, that's not why we've got the game. So I don't know. Overall, I am positive on it. I'm, I'm absolutely. Um, but of course, there's still some patches that need to be made still. And um, yeah. Uh, it, it's funny that we got this over because yesterday I was in for a leap playthroughs with my Butcher and Blade career wrestlers ready to, to use them when Buddy came out. Um, oh, it's, we don't have the bunny, but we don't have those two. Um, but, but um, yeah, I I'll show them actually in this video. Uh, it's the bit, it's just the butcher. Uh, kinda, not really. A again, with the limited creation suit, which still hasn't gotten anything new. Or I don't know what people are really expecting to be added to it. I just think more options like clone piece and stuff yeah it'd be cool although i think people have like requests for stuff like slider and, and stuff and i i don't think that's okay for this game. stuff like that would have to come in the, the next game i feel and i don't even mind the creative free in this game and i feel the the more simple graphics mean you can make create wrestlers that blend better with the actual wrestlers it's just there's not enough options to actually do stuff and the tattoos are especially limited and as well as hair and facial hair and of course the butcher has a very distinct look with the tattoos the hair the facial hair so we got a bit creative here of course not really do about the hair um <laughs> but i mean we put some body paint for like the arm tattoos um and i threw the, the shirt because there's a butcher blade and bunny shirt in the game so i put on him um because i mean it fits but of course, he hasn't worn it. I think he's worn a shirt before. I think, but there's no, again, that's another option that's not here, but probably should. Can't tuck the shirts in. Because I think he has worn like a shirt and then trunks. Um, but like the shirt over the trunks just looks stupid. That That is the, that is the morning after sex look. And I don't think a wrestler has an attire like that. So I gave him the like, the white trousers from like that, that full game match. Um, I just threw a shirt on, so not really accurate, but who that gives you some ideas because I assume a lot of people will actually want to make these guys since the bunny is in the game now. And the blade, the blade, you can actually do a really good job on this, is probably the best core I've made actually. Uh, the facial hair, the beard option, I mean, he's gone bold, so that makes the hair issue simple. 
the other neck is he has like a dog collar, but like the only dog collar in the game is like way too big. Um, and gloves, hands easy. Simple look. Um, he is an easy one to do faithfully. So, um, you yeah. know, if you want core points, I can give it, but it, it's so simple. I assume you can just make make one going off the images, but let me know. Um, I just figured I'd give my thoughts to the end of the video here about stuff um, and show, of course, the actual stuff to the game at the beginning. Um, because I mean, it's too much into the game, I'm just a bit, just a few days over. So I might as well cover my thoughts on it. Because I did that last month, so I think I do it here. Um, so yeah, um, enjoy the DLC, I guess. Um, I think there's a decent amount to enjoy here. But uh, I, I think we're still waiting on like more match types and whatever to try to change to the gameplay. Um, I, I do think we have some pretty absurd asks for. But yeah, I, I, I myself am hoping the next update has match types. E even if it's as simple as the road to elite match types, just give us handicap matches, tornado tag. That would just go a long way. Match rules, that's another one. Um, that probably doesn't sound in KBO. Overall, I, I, I'm positive to say in the game, but yeah, again, more work needs to be done. It, it's as simple as that, the conclusion, I feel. Um, but yeah, I have a DLC. Uh, this DLC, I have no real complaints outside the fact that the delay was kind of stupid and then they lied about it. And <laughs> and then uh, the, you, you get the bunny face model, which looks pretty shit. Um, but yeah... Happy to have it. Um, I'll leave this here so I can upload this. Um, since it is new news. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.